Well, what's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Industry Channel One. Welcome to the newest walkthrough on the channel, Prison Break The Conspiracy, based off of the hit TV show, Prison Break, of course. This is a stealth game. You're going to be doing all kinds of really cool stealth things moving around the prison and all that kind of stuff, so I thought we would give this a shot and put it on the channel. Going to play on the hardest difficulty, Shark, so I hope you guys appreciate that challenge. If you guys want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. We've taken the music out because it will be copyrighted, so if you do want to support the channel, please do so in the links in the description. Otherwise, it's go time. We got seven men on the outside. Repeat, seven inmates gone rabbit. Get the dogs. My name is Tom Paxton. I'm on an undercover mission for the company at Fox River State Penitentiary. If you're hearing this, that means I'm dead. Inmates over the wall. Escape. Escape. First thing you learn in this business, cover your back. This recording is my insurance. New assignment, Paxton. You're going undercover at Fox River Penitentiary. Come on, boss. Prison? Your subject is Lincoln Burroughs. We framed him for the murder of the Vice President's brother. Buried him good. But now his kid brother's in the mix. Michael Schofield, clean-cut kid, genius type. Suddenly holds up a bank and gets himself sent to Fox River. We need to know what he's up to. Secret Service? Or is the company pulling the strings? Company business. We worked hard to put Burroughs in the ground. We need to know if Schofield's gonna mess that up. You don't like me, do you, Maddox? Not much, but this has nothing to do with that. Observe and report, that's your mission. No rough stuff. Anyone finds out I'm an agent, I'm dead. What's my cover? Murder one. I did you a favor. Could have made a child molesting. At Paxson, leave the voice recorder behind this time. This ain't summer camp, kiddies. Roll call. Fiorello. Back again, dumbass? Looks like it, boss. Shut up, stupid. All I want to hear is yes, sir. Yes, sir. Schofield. Yes, sir. Paxton. You playing games, son? Look at me and call it out. You got to learn to listen, Con. Yes, sir. Punch him back. Out of my face. <laughs> What's up, dude? Check out this small one. I think he's crying. Boo hoo. What are you looking at? <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Fresh fish. Get your ass on the line! Place is pretty intense, huh? It's prison. They got some real hard cases here. The Southside Butcher, the guy who killed the VP's brother. I wouldn't know. Don't talk much, do you? And you don't shut up. This is prison. I'm not here to make friends. Jones! Open up the gate! Okay, animals, get your ass inside and meet your new pal, Officer Bellick. Just think of Bellick as your new cruise director. Hey, watch your step. Hey, I didn't do it, man. Shut your pie holes, ladies, and listen to Patterson. Welcome to your new home, convicts. We're taking off your cuffs. 
But don't try anything cute. One false move and you'll do your time hog tied. Now move on down the hall to our VIP welcome center. Hurry up, boys. You don't want to keep Bellic waiting. Faster, move your ass! There isn't any flying under my radar. We're done here. Move along. You're next, fish. Name and back number. Paxton Thomas, 133709. You playing games, Paxton? Not me, boss. Good, because any games that go on in here, I win. Now swim along, guppy. Let's go. Follow me. Wait here. You! Up the stairs, now! Ha 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 Ain't no one gonna save your ass now! Come closer! Close 39! You get a prize! Schofield, get in! Sucra, you got a new friend! Make him feel at home! Close 40! Paxton, you're next! Oh, <laughs> Look at the fishy eye cock! Avocado, cut the crap! Squeal, pig! Squeal! <laughs> oh, yeah! Close up on 44! Officially, I don't exist. I'm an agent for the company. An organization who keeps the world stable by controlling economies and telling countries not to blow each other up. Burroughs is a small pawn in a bigger game. The company needs him to go on ice, on schedule, and that's what's gonna happen. My mission is to observe and report. But you don't send a guy like me to a place like this unless you're expecting to see some blood spilled. Here's hoping it's not mine. One thing about Schofield, his tattoo. Looks more like a Southside banger than a structural engineer. What's up with that? All right, one thing you'll notice is the commentary is going to be very minimal, just really discussing the parts that I feel that I need to explain. This game has a very, very straightforward uh, linear approach to it, so it's not too difficult in that aspect. There are going to be certain things you need to do in order to complete the chapters. As you go around, try to be stealthy, uh, complete missions for the different inmates, and all that kind of stuff as you're solving this mystery that takes place between Season 1 of Prison Break TV show. Uh, other than that, there's not going to be a lot of commentary just during some of the stealth sections and things like that. You can get into fights with anyone that you see here that has that kind of little emblem above them. Fighting is going to be something that you do a lot in the game, so you need to get good at it. There's mechanics for that, which we'll go over in just a little bit. But other than that, everything is going to be really straightforward. Uh, it's not a very long game as well. This is a game you can no longer purchase, so because of that reason... Um, it's in Abandonware, so you can actually search for this game online and get it because you can't actually purchase the game itself. So I definitely recommend going uh, and checking it out. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. Other than that, I'll see you during those sections. First time inside? Yeah. Here's some advice, Fish. There's two kinds of time. Hard and easy. Hard time is being locked up all alone in the secure housing unit, the shoe. Easy time is, well, <laughs> easy. Which kind you want? Easy sounds good. Smart man. Now see T-Bag over there? He's been crossing me up, just begging for some hard time. Go pick a fight with him, and I'll know you and me got an understanding. Don't do it, and it's the shoe for you. Coming after you, teabag. I suggest you equip yourself with more than those two sticks of licorice. We'll see about that. You teabag, we need to talk. 
Oh my, does the pretty little guppy need protection in this big bad aquarium? I go my own way. This little pond you call your turf, I get free passage. Guppy wants to swim in my pond, Guppy's got to pay maintenance and upkeep. Unless you want us to fight, and for that, I don't think you have the requisite testicular proportions. So in my opinion, one of the coolest things about this game is having all of the original voice actors to play each and every one of their parts. It really helps sell the game. So here's your fighting tutorial. I'm using mouse and keyboard controls. Uh, shift is what you're going to want to use to block, which will open up things for you to be able to do parries. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the controls. And the game is... There's a, a bit of wonkiness to it as well, so you just gotta kind of remember that. Just ease into it. If you're playing on the hardest difficulty, it can definitely be a challenge. So as I go through the game, and we'll hopefully end up getting better with the combat and whatnot. Other than that, the game is not really that difficult. You should be able to get through. Just do some Tea practicing. Bag. You just got your country ass a one-way ride to the show. Ah, the light begins to dawn. Like the song says, looks like I've been set up like a bowling pin. Watch your back, milk chicken. Taking on tea bags is a sure way to gain some respect of the brothers in this place. And you can throw your fist, white boy. My name is Cino. Now, how would you like to earn some green? What do you got in mind? There's Mr. King. He runs the fights. Everyone's in on it. Even the guards. You lose, bad news. You win. You grin. One way to actually get better at brawling is to go ahead and work out. There, as far as I know right now, two different ways to work out via the uh, bench press or the heavy bag. So on the hardest difficulty, it's very difficult. Punch, the timing is miss. very, very low. Uh, so you need to be very quick when you see that thing pop up on the screen in order to do it. So what you're going to see is in the middle of the left part Punch. of the screen, you'll see a guy kind of posing there, and you'll see that little white line. What you want to do is get your red portion of that all the way up to that white line. Once that happens, that means you can no longer do, you can continue to work out, but you're no longer going to actually gain the prowess in the brawling system. There's, Come on, I guess you punch. could say there's a little bit of a system that kind of goes through each stage as you get better and better at fighting. So expect to do a lot of fighting in this game. So the heavy bag is the one that I prefer to do as opposed to the bench press, as the bench press can be a Come little on, wonky, punch. especially Missed. on the keyboard controls. Come I don't know what the punch. controls are as far as if you're playing this on 360. The game did come out on 360, so Punch. maybe you played it then, or, or maybe you can find a copy Block. of it in a hidden gem store or hidden game store or something come like on, that. Punch. But other than that, this is the PC edition, so just Punch. specifically everything that I'm saying is going over Block. the actual PC controls. So you just come need on, to follow Punch. these prompts, and we're going to do that every chapter to make sure that we get Block. our level up more and more, so that way we get Punch. better at the combat. And there's going to be more combat come coming on, up Punch. later on in this chapter as well, Punch. and you will get used to it. Uh, but I definitely Block. recommend you to pick fights with the people that it allows Punch. you to, so that way you can just kind of get used on, to it and, and make the experience be a little better. Uh, the other type of experience you're going to have in the game Punch. is going around talking to different inmates, Come on, uh, doing missions for them, doing like sneaky parts Punch. where you're trying to get around guards and Come things on, like Punch. that, just like the TV show, um, except Punch. you're doing it in uh, third person and uh, you need to be stealthy as possible. On, on this difficulty, Punch. it can be really Punch. tough because Punch. you're on the shark difficulty, they don't show you Punch. where they are. So it becomes a lot more challenging, but I think we're up for it. Hey, King, I found a hot one. The boy can punch. <laughs> Big man wants to earn, huh? I'll take a shot. See, note, I ain't taking any more of your fighters till I get the meds you owe me. When we are all right, your boy can fight. Listen, Snowflake, my connection hit my stash in the boiler room, but got himself shanked before he told me where. Find those meds for me, and you get to fight. Even on the inside, cash is king. Fighting to get money might help me get closer to Schofield. All right, so here is the tutorial for stealth. Stealth is pretty easy. You can get and hide behind objects or get into cover with Q. And then you just need to essentially wait until they're not looking in your direction. You, you can use the di different button icons that show up that teach you how to kind of get around or jump to the next cover. Um, this guy, you don't really need to worry about too much. Just stay out of his peripheral vision. 
You're going to use the F to focus because it'll really help you out telling you where to go and stuff. But usually when you see these little yellow markers or outlines, they kind of explain to you where you can climb and what you can do. Very easy platforming. It's nothing too difficult to do. And, you know, I remember this game when it first came out and I never played it. I don't know why I didn't because I was a huge fan of the actual TV series, but I think I just had so much other stuff going on at the time that I never got around to it. And this is one of those licensed games, so it didn't get reviewed very well or anything like that. And there are a lot of bugs and certain stuff that you're going to run into. But all in all, if you're a fan of the Prison Break series, then this is a gem to play because it just really helps to immerse you more into the TV show than just by watching it. If you're a fan of stealth games, this is not really going to do anything to you know, make you love stealth games even more. The stealth in this game is very basic and simple, but what it gives you to do is, is fun, and I've just, I've had a blast playing it so far, so I hope you guys enjoy it as well. First chapter has some very, very basic, simple missions for you to do for C-Note, and again, I just love the fact that there's, all the voices are there. Everyone that I've heard so far is their actual real life voice counterpart, so, that means a lot to me when a licensed game can actually get the ones who are really playing in that specific TV show or movie to come and voice, uh, you know, their characters in the game. Even though you're not playing as Michael or anything like that, um, you're playing as a guy who you've never even heard of, who you never see in the TV series itself. So it's it's interesting to see how they come up with ways to putting him in certain situations, uh, but to keep him out of of what you would have normally, you know, kind of saw in the TV show. Pharmacy delivery. Good job, Snowflake. Well, you got potential, white boy. Hit the heavy bag, do some burners, you could do all right. Meantime, you ever want some tats, bring me the cash. I'll link you up righteous. What about the new guy, Schofield? What about him? His tattoo. Ain't my work, but I know it's fresh. Michael? What the hell are you doing here? Roll it up, Burrows! I'm breaking you out, Link. Impossible. Not if you design the place. But first, I gotta get into prison industries. Burrows! I said move your ass! <laughs> Schofield's planning a prison break. No details yet. I gotta tell Mannix. Manix. Here's the deal with Schofield. He wants to bust his brother out. No way. That place is like Fort Knox. I know, but Boy Genius has a plan. It involves prison industries. I gotta get in there. Painting? Maintenance? Crap like that? Talk to Charles Westmoreland. He'll know how to get you on a work crew. Charles Westmoreland? I know you. I knew your wife before she passed. You knew Marla? You mean Anne. How'd you know her? I was the janitor in her school. East Farmington. You mean West Wilmington. Okay, no more tests. You want to learn the ropes? Look around. Trey Street Deuce's got hoops. Norteno's got handball. Woods got the weight pile. Then there's Bellick and his boys. Dirtiest gang in the whole place. Only difference between us and them is the badge. Thanks for the tour, but I need to get into prison industries. Ah, uh, that's a string I can't pull. You need John Abruzzi. He runs P.I. Abruzzi? The mob boss? Right over there, son. Time to go kiss the ring. Thanks. One thing to note that I've done is I've taken all the music down because copyright is really big on this, so if you do want to support the channel, Buy me a coffee and uh, show your love and check out the links.
Hey, no fighting. Unless the CEOs get a piece of the action. Now get inside. I hear you're the man to talk to about P.I. Who the hell are you? Someone who needs a favor. Funny. That fish Schofield just asked me the same thing. Beat it! I don't do favors. Then maybe we can do business. Any chores you need done? Bello, let's see if you can swim, fish. One of my guy's teats I hear is turning rat. But I gotta know for sure before I exterminate him. Okay, what's the play? I've seen him talking to Bellic. Check the CEO's locker in the file room, see what you can find. Alright, so we got another little sneaky stealth section here. And we're gonna be heading to the left, and all you need to really make sure that you do is just get against the cover and wait till the guard is not looking in your direction. That's how you're gonna know, because there's no other indicators except for what you actually see on them. You can go around corners, but you can see you can kind of get glitched there if you try to do that, so just be careful. And you have a, a bunch of little sections like this. It's 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 kind of fun. It's very very basic, but it's still fun. Talk to me. Approzzi's still running his family from the inside. He gets coded letters about the weekly takes, the big scores. I can tell you what they mean. Hand it over. I'll squeeze our Brutzi like a fat chick's ass. So, I'm still good here? As long as you keep feeding me the good stuff, ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Bellic is pumping teats in exchange for protection. I've got to get my hands on that letter. Hey, where'd he come from? Hey, Lewis, you going up to admin? Put this on my desk. No problem. All right, now we're going to get into the more advanced type of stealth stuff that you're going to be doing. Um, you're going to need to screw these out. It's very, very easy to do, but you do need to be very careful when you're unscrewing it because if you make too much noise, then you can attract attention and then have the guards come after you. So you got to be careful in that regard. We need to head to Bellic's office and retrieve the information. Hey, Davis, command some stairwell check in the basement. You copy? Got it. I'm on the top floor. I'll clear it and work my way down. You actually don't need to wait here. Uh, I was thinking he was going to come down, but he actually doesn't even move until you get in. So just go ahead and go through the door, and then we're going to get into the locker here. Hey, Louie. You punching out? Need to talk with Becky, and then I'm gone. Talk? Right. Shut up, moron. Now, as I said previously, since we're playing on the hardest difficulty, you don't have the emblems of the enemies showing up or the, the prison guards. So it makes it much more tougher because you don't know exactly where they are. If you're playing on normal difficulty, you would have an emblem that shows you where the specific enemies are so you can judge when you need to move and when not. Hey, Becky. Hey, Louie. How are you? Easy like a truck stop hooker. 
Can I help you with something? Well, my uniform pants are getting kind of tight. We can't have our officers restricted in their movements. That's what I was thinking. It's a security matter. Come with me. I'll see what I can do. We're gonna get caught. By who? The warden. Baby, right now, right here, I am the warden. So you don't actually have to go and hide into this thing. I was just wanted to be prepared in case one of the guys came into the room because I can't see where they are. But no one comes into this room as far as I know. So you can go ahead and get out and start the process of getting into the next room. Uh, you just have to head to the X marker. All of it is very, very self-explanatory, which is why I'm really only going to be here to guide you during the sections that I feel are the toughest, except for this first part here where we're kind of learning the ropes and everything like that. What happens is you'll see a little emblem that'll come up on the screen that'll show red if he starts to see you. If it goes full red, then you've been caught and it's pretty much game over and you're going to have to start again. So essentially that's the whole process. You can't be seen. There is no getting to them in time to take them out or anything like that. These are, this is a, you're in a prison setting, so you can't really do that. As far as cameras, stay out of their way. You can go to the bottom of the camera if you rush here as quickly as possible to deactivate it here. You don't even really need to do this if you go to the automatically to the left and head up there. But just showing you some of the different things that you actually can do in the game. Ah yes, quick time events. This game has a lot of them, so just be prepared for the quick time events to come in those types of situations and you should be good to go. This next section can definitely be a little tricky because you don't have a lot of time to move around this one guard, this pesky guard. Uh, so definitely, you know, wait until uh, you have that perfect moment to move coming up.
Yo, new guy! Well, Bruce is waiting for you in the showers! So my game actually glitched here, and my game is automatically moving without me pressing any buttons. I think something happened during the loading of the scene or something. So I literally, it took me, it was very hard to get me to move straight into this room. You but spied on me, bastard! Now you die! So here's some more combat. Again, we're still learning. Um, really, it's all about blocking and waiting for that moment to be able to do the counter. Uh, you can see the meter shows, once it goes down, once the red goes all the way down, then that's when you know that you've completed it. But it's really not that difficult. It just takes a little time to get used to, and then I think we're going to get a lot better at it as we move along and learn. Alright, so we're coming up to the end of the chapter one, or we you did the prologue and then the chapter one. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying, and uh, let's keep going. Teats was selling you out, John. I'll kill that traitor. He's not going to be talking for a long time. You've earned your way into P.I., my friend. I made it into P.I. Now I can keep an eye on Schofield and figure out what he's up to. Trouble's coming. Someone's gonna flee. Something is brewing. Whites and blacks are gonna go at each other real soon. I gotta watch my back. All right, on to chapter two. Ain't nobody gonna hang back! Out of my face! Lots of stealth in this chapter. You hear the trumpets. It's jumping off. Gonna be some blood. Alright, break it up, ladies. What's up, Snowflake? <laughs> You've been taking me for a fool? What are you talking about? I've seen you up there hanging with the Hitler Youth, walking the walk. It, it's not what you think. They've got something I need. That's funny. I got something you need, too. You need your pug now, don't you, Snowflake? It's all yours. Looks like your white boy luck just ran out. Move it! Everyone to the yard, now! <clears throat> Schofield wants Pugnak, insulin blocker. Nothing in his file about that, so he must be up to something in the infirmary. I gotta check that out. All right, so this section is gonna have a lot of stealth in it. I've turned the music on, but I've turned it on slightly, so we'll see if I get copyrighted. So make sure you support the channel any way that you can by becoming a member, Patreon, buy me a coffee. All those links, of course, are in the description. Schofield, infirmary, now. All right, let's go. We're going to be heading over here. We got a big stealth section. This whole thing is going to be pretty much all stealth here. And we're just going to sit here and wait a little bit until they all move. <clears throat> 
once he goes inside, then it should leave us an opening to be able to climb this. And you can tell that, of course, by the yellow up there. And we're free to move. I want to thank uh, the prison for allowing everything to be colored for things that we need to, to use. It's really nice of them. Make sure you stay to this guy's left. Sometimes he can almost see you there. See? It's very close. Now, there are multiple routes that you can take to get into these places. Michael Schofield, right? I'd like to run some tests next time you're in. Last thing I want is to be administering insulin to a man that doesn't need it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Avocado cut the crap! What's happening here? Avocado's losing it again! <laughs> hmm. Schofield is diabetic. Comes every day for insulin shots. So what's with the pug neck? He's faking it. <sighs> the infirmary is part of his plan somehow. I gotta phone this into Mannix. Ah, uh, yes. If you've seen the TV show, you recognize all of this stuff. It's close, but you can make it. <clears throat> You're done in the infirmary. Back in the yard. All right, we made it through. It's very intense. I love it. Schofield is taking drugs to get daily access to the infirmary. I don't know why yet. Find out more, dammit. Stop Schofield any way you can, but don't mess with Burroughs. He's got to go to the chair as scheduled. Anything else will bring people sticking their noses into places we don't want them. 
Hey, champ. What? War's coming and looks like you're wearing the wrong color skin. Someone might make a mistake, think you a Nazi, cut your ass to gully. Am I right, brothers? Right. We could let that happen, or we might could make sure it don't. You want me to do something for you, right? <laughs> See now, you and me are on the same frequency already. I need to get me a good supply of a drug called Pugnac. They stash it in the loony bin. I get it for you. You watch my back? Like you was from the hood. Deal. You sure it's in the asylum? Yeah, secure cabinet. You're gonna need a lockpick. And be careful of them J-Cats. Them boys, it's cr If anyone knows where to get a lockpick, it would be a Brutzy. As you can see, it's already full. So you still don't need to do any leveling up, but you also have... Let's go ahead and do that over there. That way it focuses on that. You also have here where you can get into underground fights and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into one. Let's go. These are optional things that you don't necessarily have to do. But they give you that good practice that you want. This is how you can get some money um, and you can go all the way up. Obviously, the harder they get, some are much easier than others. I still got a lot of learning to do to get better, so. Props, dude. Good fight. All right, let's go ahead and move on now. Hi, John. How's Teats? Still not talking. I need a lockpick. What do I look like? A hardware store? No, you look like the man in charge. Got that right? Tell you what, Fiorella lost his shank, he's gonna need one when the feces hits the fan. You get me a solid kitchen knife, I'll get you a lockpick. Got it. You bring it to me outside the kitchen. I got a crew there painting walls. This is actually making me want to play or uh, watch the entire Prison Break Season 1 again, at least. Bye. 
Nice and stealth like. Wow, good work, Paisano. This should cut right through some of that dark meat. Guess I'll call off those guys I told to shank you. <laughs> it was a joke, Fish. Very funny. Here, a lot of memories in this one. Take good care of it. I've got the lockpick, so I'm ready to go after the Pugnack for C-Note. Next stop, Crazy Town. All right, so same thing, lock picking tutorial, move the tension and then press that to lock it. You want to essentially get it right when it's in the middle there. Nice and easy. All right, we made it. Ooh, it's a lot tougher on this harder difficulty. Sprinklers are leaking again. I shut off the main valve while they work on them.
a little finicky sometimes, these controls, so you got to be really careful. What are you doing? They catch you here, you'll be in the shoe for months. Thanks, old man. Yo, champ. What happened to you? You're pugnack. You're like the mailman, bro. You always deliver. Nobody can stop what's coming. But me and my boys will look out for you best we can. Heads up! Batter up, cons! Stand your gate! T-Bag, get back on your number! I need backup! I said back on your number! Trying to get better at this. me actually get a head he won't let me get a heavy hit and he always does it he won't hit until i do that see then he'll hit it's so weird it takes a little time to get used to it's not a system that just works flawlessly so sometimes you can't even get a hit and there we go see i I'm not fast enough when I do those things. E, you gotta hit E. See, he always hits me before I can get a heavy in. Otherwise, he won't hit you. Like, sometimes he won't do anything until you hit first. There we go. Finish. Woo, we did it. All right. <coughs> Chapter two complete. Still wants more on Schofield. I saw Sucre and Schofield arguing during the riot, and now Sucre is moving in with me. Maybe I can pump him for information. Paxton, meet your new Sally. Get in there, Sucre. You girls play nice. Paxton, right? Yeah. You and Schofield have a falling out? Yeah. We're history. What's with him and his tattoos? <laughs> He's loco, man. I'd like to get a better look at him. They look like real art. You want to talk with him? See a Brutzi. 
He's the one that manages PI schedules. Hey, Sucra, I put that whack job haywire in with Schofield. This ought to be worth some laughs. Paxton, time for PI. All right, so we're moving on to chapter three. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying so far. Don't forget, any support on these walkthroughs really, really help the channel out. So um, check out all the links in the description. Make sure you leave a like, all that good stuff. Comment on the videos. What do you think of the game? How does it uh, kind of hold up to everything else as well? Let me know. So as you can see, we can go ahead and do this. Get our skills up a little bit more. Missed. Block. <sighs> you do not have a lot of time, as I said previously. And it is random. Come on, punch. There's no way of knowing exactly what's going to be next. Punch. Come on, punch. Punch. Block. <sighs> Come on, punch. Block. Come on, punch it. Takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it to get better. Punch. You can see I've left the music in. So again, if you guys do want to support the channel, you can click my buy me a coffee link in the description. Or whatever you want to do. It's it's up to you guys. Remember it's not uh not mandatory, but it definitely helps the channel. Especially when you uh, when we try to do some of these weirder walkthroughs that maybe a lot of people don't really know about getting these games is much more tougher punch come on punch block punch block punch come on punch block almost there come on punch again i prefer to do this than the bench press it's a lot of wiggling and pressing the space bar, which is a horrible thing to do. Come on, punch. <laughs> because you got to do it in rapid succession. Come on, punch. Almost there. Come on, punch. All right. Block. Missed. All right, so I'll just show you exactly what it looks like here. Uh, this one again, it's just you know you you tap this and you just move left and right with the mouse to keep the the weight so you got to tap this as much as possible and you move left and right with this once your hands are all the way up then you can let it down like i let it down slow slowly like that and then that'll be one and then you repeat the process over again and it's just it really just hurts the fingers so i don't prefer to do that one all right let's go hey paisano i need a favor bellic puts haywire in schofield's cell he's a little you know no telling what it might do. I got a vested interest in Schofield. I want Haywire out of there pronto. Beat it. I don't do favors. You catch on quick, Fish. Maybe we can do some business. Anything you need these days? How about some time alone with Schofield? Why? You don't need to know. Okay, fine. You get Haywire out of there, and I'll arrange some quality time for you and Schofield. But don't hurt him. I got something in mind for that boy. Any suggestions for moving Haywire? He takes meds, crazy meds for his head. Switch them with rat poison pills from chemical storage, and he'll be sent to the infirmary. I'm on the right track. I'll get a one-on-one -on -one with Schofield after I switch Haywire's meds with rat poison. Maybe I can bluff Schofield into revealing more about his plans.
So you hate doing maintenance here in Fox River, eh, Bataglia? No, sir, I don't. Really? It's just a job, same as any other. Then move your lazy ass, meatball!
Don't touch me! Don't take my brain! Keke? Full moon again! Calm down, I got 20 cc's of Shutter Yopo right here. Something you want? Itchy fists? Follow me. You ballin', dude. So you wanna ink up, huh?
Haywire's on his way to the infirmary. Did you set up the meat? Schofield's in the shed. He's all yours. Don't make me come looking for ya. Abruzzi said you wanted to meet. You're planning a breakout. I want in. Otherwise, I spill everything to Bellic. <laughs> nice try, pal. Everyone in this joint has a plan to bust out. Why should I be any different? I know you're up to something. Beat it, fish. Time's up. Scram. Schofield and Burroughs are talking with Abruzzi. Maybe I can get something to report back to Mannix. The three of us are in this together. No, no, Bambino, that was not our agreement. I'm not teaming up for this idiot hothead. Shut your mouth, John. What are you gonna do? You wanna find out, huh? Hey, you dirtbag! Get back to the yard, now! Jack, I'm certain. Schofield and Burroughs are planning a breakout. Abruzzi's in on it, too. When? Don't know. Gotta be soon. Burroughs doesn't have much time. Okay, Paxson, change of plans. No more observe and report. Take any action to ensure Burroughs dies in the chair. Not by a guard, not by a shank, not in a riot. Stop him any way you can, short of killing Burroughs. I'll do my best, but I'm still a fish in this tank. Just do it, or I'll come down there and do it myself. Focus on Burroughs. Focus on their plan. Guess what time it is? <laughs> Teach for tat. <laughs> Let's take a look at you. What happened? <sighs> Cut myself shaving. Of course you did. Looks like it might be infected. We'll need to keep you overnight in sick bay. <gasps> Dr. Tancredi, need some help with Haywire. Can't keep anything down, huh? Yeah, he just started puking. One of Schofield's cranes and a setup to corrode the pipe. That's why Schofield's coming in here. This is the escape route. Paxton, move it, sick bay. I'm on it, boss. Just gotta tie my shoelaces. Hurry it up. Haywire has been sketching Schofield's tattoo. It's his escape plan. If I can get the rest of the drawings, I'll be able to stop Schofield in his tracks. I'd have machine guns for hands. That's not a superpower. You wouldn't need a superpower. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> you just carry two machine guns. A superpower is something you're born with. Like, you can fly or your finger glows. 
What good is that? A glowing finger. You wouldn't need a flashlight to check up a con's ass. Knock it off, boys. This is a closed frequency. Find your own damn channel. Apologies, sir. Meet me outside, Moore. Cool. Right after I finish my rounds. It's falling apart. Can you fix it or not? Nah, it doesn't matter. I patch it up here, it's gonna leak somewhere else. Holy crap! What's that? What now? Hey, give me the floodlight! There's someone up here! and you can climb anywhere you want. Beat that! You wanna be a freaking insect? Spiders aren't insects, you moron! Doesn't matter. One can of bug spray and you barely up. I'd rather be a guy made out of rocks. Yeah, that makes sense. You already got rocks in your head. I ain't kidding. Hey, what's gonna kill you? You live a gazillion years? <laughs> what girl is gonna go out with you, Mr. Rock Lips? Four. Report to the Sally Port. Got it.
Tommy, shut up! Hey, wire! Shut it for you. Look at it. Can't you see? Oh, now you piss me off for real. It's the road to hell. I know it. Well, I'll show you the road to hell. There's a map on his body. I've seen it. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? I should have gone to college. Schofield's trying to escape. Officer, I appreciate your fast response, but it is clear we are dealing with a false alarm. Tell your men to stand down. Schofield set off the alarms just to see how the guards would respond. He must still be planning his route. I've got to get the prison blueprints and compare them to Haywire's drawings. Inmates in cell block have compromised lockdown and entered A-Wing. We're locking down A-Wing. A-Wing is locked down. Remain in B-Wing. Come on. You don't want to do this! It's a full-scale riot. Schofield might have started it as a cover for his breakout. I've got to find him and Burroughs. All right, so this is chapter four, and it is nothing but just a big, huge, brawling chapter, so... Back off, pigs! Yeah! Please, don't! Please, don't. I have a 
Snipers, get down! Snipers, get down! I'm gonna die in here. Got to make sure you get up against the cover here. You on whose army? Again? I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad at this combat, it's hilarious. There we go. See, and even when I do get it, I screw up because you don't have you don't have enough time. Like the this game just does not give you enough time to uh, react. Honestly, see, and even when I press it, it just doesn't give you enough time. There we go. Hey, we get lucky. I'm telling you, man. Damn, tear gas. As far as quick time events, this has got to be one of the toughest games, in my opinion. But we're making it through. Hello, milk chicken. Teabag sends his regards. Sheesh. I cannot. The timing is so awful. There we go. So, but see, it doesn't give you enough time to anticipate what the next one is going to be. Okay, that one is a reverse. There we go. Okay, that, okay when he does that, it's that one. by the uh, by the finale of this I'll get a little bit better you know that's my goal There we go. Oh, nope. See, it's E. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta memorize like, hey, that one's, oh, dang it. Okay, okay. I know that one. I know that one at this point. I just gotta get the other ones. Gotta memorize the other ones. Oh, it's so much easier when you anticipate that way. There we go. Okay, where am I going? Hey, there's the button. Paxton, payback time. And you're the collector? I don't think so. Dang it, man. I, th I thought I had it that time. There we go. Okay. There we go. Got it. Ugh. 
Did a little better. I know that one. At this point, I'm pretty good at that one. Times I can try. Oh my god. Oh jeez, I'm just awful at this. Okay. <laughs> this has got to be one of the worst. Man, I just can't. It's like I'm, it just. My reaction time just really, really sucks. I can get that one, like I said. That's about the only one I can get. Hey, we took him out. Doesn't give enough time there. Hey, oh, it's E. See? E. When it does that one, it's E. And look at that, he builds his health back up. It's crazy. I don't think you can run out of here either. You just kind of got to wait. Oh, just when I think I'm getting good at the timing, man, I'm just not. Oh, jeez. There we go. Nice. I really, that's like the combo you got to get him in. There we go. Oh, he hit me first. Okay. Oh, no. Wrong one. All right. Come on. Should be able to just do that one. Yeah, there we go. All right. We got it. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't come here for my combat gameplay. Come here for my stealth gameplay. Help me pry this open. <laughs> Snipers, get down. I've been waiting for this, homeboy. Patience is overrated. I remember when he backs, when he does that, I can go for a light punch. Oh, dang it, man. I just, I'm not, it's, it's just, you gotta be so super quick, man. There's just no timing. For you guys, I bet it wouldn't be that hard, actually. But for me, with seen out of one eye, it just... I know I can get used to it eventually. Okay, now I should be able to do this one. Yeah. Uh, easy, big fella. Looks like you took a pretty good hit. Michael. Where's Michael? Haven't seen him since this thing started. I gotta find him. Paxton, come help me hold him down. The trick is the pressure. You need to push hard, but not too hard. You gotta be careful. One little slip, you hit the gas pipe. Gas pipe as in, uh... The pipe that carries the gas. They're drilling their way out. I gotta reach Burroughs and cut him off. You looking for Schofield? You know where he is? Follow me. Oh yeah, we know where this is in the uh, actual like continuity of the movie or the TV show. Yeah!
What if this guy's waiting for me? Get lost! No, you take the back off. You void the warranty. <laughs> Hang it, man. There's so much to think about. Oh, dang it! I just had it. There we go. Once he gets down, then I can get him in this little like kind of. Just more repetition is going to help, I'm sure. Somehow, I don't think so. Johnny, watch out! Get a little present from T Bang! Jesus Christ, you killed him! Didn't have much choice. Stop. Don't, don't do it. Who are you? What do you want from me? And sometimes it's like in the invincible frames that the enemies get. Dang it, man. It's to know which one that I gotta do is the toughest thing. Like I said, when you get a kick in, you can get a good invincible frame on that, then you can do that and back it up. And then you can go for the, the, the takedown. So, like I said, once you get in the... It's like, what's the timing, man? Do you have to do it early or late? Still haven't really figured it out. There we go. Come on, get up, get up. Don't let him, don't let him get himself back. There we go. Oh, there we go. Got it. Just in time. Essentially, you do not want to. You do not want to be a button masher. Okay. Thanks, man. You saved my life. Did you see Burrows? Down there in the boiler room. Yeah. Don't be. Don't be a button masher. That's not going to help you win this. Why did you do this? Who sent you? You gotta help me. Oh, please talk. It's still really, really fun, though. You even know it can be a little frustrating, but it's not too bad. That's mostly just you, when you're playing. You know, I'm coming straight at this, playing it on the hardest difficulty, while learning the maps at the same time, which is, you know, never probably something that you would want to do. Always play it on the normal mode and then go from there. Kill Burrows. And Paxton? What the hell? Someone sent Turk in here to kill me and Burroughs. Makes no sense, but I'll work on it later. Gotta stop the escape first. Hey, you killed Johnny, you son of a bitch! Didn't think you could take me alone? Smart man. <laughs> I think if you're too far away, it won't it won't block it, and that's why. T 
See, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit better. Let's take a little time. Uh, uh, you know, when he does that, you gotta, gotta hit him quick. There we go. We're starting to get it, get into it, I, I think. I hope. <laughs> How many times can I try to get the timing right and it just be awful? At least I got him. Dang it, I always forget. Oh, you gotta go after him immediately when he does that. There we go, he's almost down. Can I get it? Nice. I think I got him now. All right. Burrows! Have a nice trip, Paxton. See you in the fall. Right's over, Paxton. You're going to the shoot. All inmates accounted for. Five dead, but no escapees. I thought the riot was the prison break, but it was just a smokescreen to give Abruzzi and Sucre time to drill that wall. I've still got a little time. Maybe I can use it to figure out who hired Turk to kill me. Paxton, shoe time's over. Abruzzi needs your ass in P.I. Now! All right, so we're moving on with the next chapter here. Um, I got to talk during some of this stuff because my videos are getting copyrighted. So if you guys want to support the channel, please, please, please check out those links in the description. I can't say I admire your taste. Tranquilo, boss. Hey, paisano. Hey, John, the knife I got you. How'd it work out? Good, but I lost it. How? Uh, I left it in some guy's stomach. That's why you're here. They cleaned out the joint and now I've got nothing, not even a toothpick. I'd be a lot more comfortable if I had some, you know, leverage. The sharp and pointy kind? Bravo. Exactamente. I can swing that, but I need your men to find out about a guy named Turk. I need to know his story. His story is he's dead. Beaten to a pulp in the boiler room. I read that chapter. I want to know if someone was running him. Okay, I will look into it. But in the meantime, take this ball from the yard benches and see if you can turn it into something a little more useful. It's one big ass bolt. <laughs> All right, so as always in this section, we have got more and more stealth. Get on it now. You big ugly jackass. You think you're better than me? Calling you stupid would be an insult to stupid. That machine? A bomb could go off and I wouldn't hear it. Wilson! Hey! Shut it down! I can't hear a goddamn thing! Got it. I'll be right over. All I'm saying is the drill press was made in some Asian hellhole where they ate fish eyes for breakfast. And the only metal they got is leftover from old rice buckets. 
Well, that grinder over there is good old U.S. of A American steel, and it ain't never gonna wear out. You can't tell me one ain't better than the other. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, I gotta go see the Pope, boys. <laughs> Must be getting a raise. Make sure you gotta use it whenever that noise is going on. Otherwise, it won't work. So essentially here, you just want to wait till it turns around. Obviously, you guys know the deal here when it comes to this kind of stuff. All right, so we're going to go and continue on our way here. Wait till he moves. So as far as this goes, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off. Again? We're gonna get inside here and then wait till he passes. And you should have enough time to make it. There you go. Not a fool, Captain Bellick. I won't have my inmates fighting like pit bulls. Now shut it down. I wouldn't know anything about that, sir. What's that on the wall? Blood? That's just red paint, Warden. That's all. Well, clean it up, Captain. And I don't just mean the paint. Or, Williams, get to work. So I ain't cleaning this crap up. Me neither. Nice and slow. What's with the lights? Where's my flashlight? is falling apart. I'll check it out. Alright, so far so good. Let's keep it up. Any luck? When you're as good as me, you don't need luck. Cocky, eh? I like that. I'll get back to you when I got that information about Turk. Thanks. Hey, 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 where are you going? You're on PI now. I gotta make a phone call. Mannix, it's Paxton. What the? Tom, are you right? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Schofield staged a riot, but it was just a smokescreen. For what? Abruzzi and Sucre are digging a hole under A-Wing. Damn. That ain't all. Their escape route leads through the infirmary. Schofield's been corroding a pipe there so he can get in through a drain, but I can't get to it. Okay, let me think. There's nothing you can do about the hole under A-Wing. But if you can't fix the pipe, 
Maybe you can get someone to do it for you. How? Forge a work order for the repair. Maintenance will get in there and fix it. Easier said than done. I'd have to get into the warden's office. So stop talking and start doing. Remember, guys, support the channel, buy me hey, a coffee, all me. those links in the Where's description. Your PI uniform? To the locker room! On the double! Really helps the channel out. Because obviously copyright is such a big thing when it comes to these types of licensed games. So unfortunately, I have to talk a lot over some cutscenes because of that said music, so. Rap! I gotta run up to the warden's office. You take one step out of this room before I get back, and it'll be your ass. Mannix sounded strange on the phone, but his orders were pretty clear. I need to sneak into the warden's office and forge a work order. You got to do this slow enough to where he doesn't hear you and turn around. If he turns around and starts heading to you, then you know you failed. I don't freaking believe it. They had to put this place in mothballs. All right, good to go. Because, see, the thing is, you're hitting it a bunch of times, and then you're letting go, so... Hey, Roy, what's the score? We're down, 15. God damn it! I'm gonna lose my shirt. The Warden will be with you in a moment, Captain. Okay, red and blue, I understand, but what's this green wire doing here? This part's really tough. Just move very slow. Lau, this one's going to take you a long time. Small movements. If you go any faster than that, you will automatically be caught. This is probably one of the harder ones.
There's the Taj. He's a good kid, Michael Schofield. I think so, too. Did you see what he did with the Taj? My wife will be over the moon. She's a lucky woman. Sir, Captain Bellick is waiting outside. Thanks, Becky. I'll talk with him in the hall. Uh, in the meantime, could you get me a cup of coffee? Certainly. Just leave it on my desk. It should only take a minute. You got plenty of time. Just come over here and hide. There's nowhere else you can really hide in this room. You just gotta kind of wait. Warden, your coffee is ready. A work order? Just sitting here? No wonder this place is falling apart. Uh, what a mess! I'll just put this in the closet. Becky, Captain Bellick's report's more complicated than I thought. Will you please come take notes for me? Uh, certainly, Warden. No sugar, no cream. Thanks, man. All right, we made it back. Nice outfit. You buy it off the rack? Now get your ass back to P.I. Gotta love the overacting in this game. But it's perfect. It's the original voice actors. Give this jerk off some work. He's been sitting around all day. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I would drop it. What do you mean? That guy, Turk, he's a ghost. There's nothing on him. It's like he's never existed. Three of my associates on the outside were clubbed like baby seals for just asking about him. So I don't want to push this any further. A deal's a deal. I got you the shank. Are you a man of your word or not? Madre di Dio. Okay. Look, listen. If you can get me the phone records for the past couple of weeks, maybe I can run through the numbers. See who he was calling. How do you know who's been using the phone? Hey, that's my business. I know everything that goes down in this yard. Okay, where can I find the records? They're on a computer in the storage facility. You can get in through the pump house, print out the records, and bring them back to me. Another break-in. But I gotta risk it if I want to find out who hired Turk to kill me and Burroughs. You can also go over there and do fights and uh, more tattoos if you want as well. Hey boss, how'd you like to see us kick this guy's ass? It might bring a little sunshine into an otherwise dreary day. Ugh! 
Dang it. I always get so close and still fail. I can't get that timing down. I don't think I'll ever get it down. <laughs> it's funny when it happens, though. There we go. Now I should got him. As soon as he gets up, it should go space bar. Yeah. I'm getting there. See, it's all about when they move their heads. This one you can actually move as fast as you want. There's nobody in here. Okay, so you can't keep pressing forward. You have to stop. So the way the, that these things work is you have to stop before you can actually do something. Like you can't be pressing forward at the same time. So like when you come over here, stop and then press that. So that way you actually get it. It's kind of weird, but I mean, it works.
Smith, man. Why don't you just ask the guy out and get it over with? Hey, Smith would kick your ass just for thinking that. He could do it, too. Shut up. How about you just do the work you paid for, Bataglia? Yes, sir. Same thing. They're pretty close here, so you want to be careful. an electrical freak show. Vitaglia, go check it out. <sighs> Whatever you say. Nah, it's fine. Someone was just messing with the switches. Yeah, right. Prison ghost. Davis, what the hell is going on? Damn thing keeps going off all the time. I told Vitaglia to fix it a million times already. You can't just tell him to do it. You gotta make him do it. Okay, I'll handle it. Goddamn computers are older than dirt, man. Anybody ever heard of a laser printer or what? Where do you want your stuff, man? In here, guys.
That one's a bit confusing because you gotta go under a few different buses in order to get the right one. So just wait for him to put the binoculars down and then you're free to move. Wait for him to move there. Those, the phone records? Good. I'll get back to you in a couple of hours. So far, so good. Schofield and Burroughs are still on the inside, and soon I'll know who hired Turk to kill me. Your time, inmates! Paxton, you're coming with me. A brute team wants to see you. Let me ask you a simple question. Are you a cop? <laughs> what? Be careful now. If you say yes, I will kill you. Because I hate cops. On the other hand, if you say no, you'll be lying. And the only thing I hate more than cops are lying cops. I don't know what you're talking about. I did a little checking on the numbers you called from the phone in the yard. Do you know? How I survived as the head of my family for so long because I trusted no one. But one day, I broke my own rule and made a deal with a cop that I'd known for years. He was on my payroll. He sat at my table and broke bread with me. I trusted him. He sold me out. You want to guess the cop's name? You piece of merda. Jack, lying son of a bitch, Mannix. Ring any bells? John, I swear. You lied to me, Paxton. You're Mannix boy. So now your days are over. Bobo, cut him up like you were back at the slaughterhouse. I don't want nothing left but pieces. <laughs> Doesn't the action just really grip you? <laughs> My PI card fell under the grate. I'll have to come back for it after the heat dies down. It's okay. 
can't get the timing down. But that was definitely a lot better. Let's be honest. I mean, that was significantly better than what you're used to seeing. Dang it, I always... Oh, you gotta hit him quicker than that, dude. Why is his heavy punch quicker? Whoa. There we go. Like, why is his heavy punch quicker than mine? Dang it, I don't like the E one. I swear I can never, for whatever reason, pull off that specific hit. I got some bad luck. And then switches. Just keep switching. That's not good. I get it. I get it. I get it. Come on, strain. Okay, let's switch to the other guy. Here. There we go. Again. I just don't know when to do it. It's like... See, it just always whiffs. Alright, there we go. Now, he should be done now. One left. Sheesh. Man, it just will not. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I hit one. Oh, I thought I had it. I'm so sick of this. It's just ridiculous. It's so freaking hard. I don't understand the system at all. Maybe other people understand the system, but I just don't. I don't get it. It's like there's no rhyme or reason sometimes to any of these hits. All right, should be good now. <laughs> Jeez. I know there's probably people out there that have played this that are perfect at that, but it's just not one of my fortes. <laughs> I've learned to accept it. I hope you do too Captain as well. Alec? Who wants to know? I'm Agent Richardson. This is Agent Bates, Department of Corrections. Well now, what can I do for you? We've had several reports of anomalies here at Fox River. Electrical problems, water leaks, etc. We're here to survey the facility, determine if someone's been sabotaging your infrastructure. We need full access, and we need it now. This is totally unnecessary. I run a tight ship. Well, then you have nothing to worry about, Captain. Do you? Oh, look, we're in a really tight ship there, you can tell. Agent Paxton, I'm with the company. Agent Richardson, our superiors are getting very impatient. You've been in Fox River long enough to kill Lincoln Burroughs, but he's still alive. What seems to be the problem? Kill Burroughs? That's not my mission. Look, you think we sent you in here to socialize? Mannix sent in Turk to help you out, but he only got himself killed. Do your job, Paxton. Kill Lincoln Burroughs, and you can walk out of here. Otherwise, you'll be leaving in a box. Gotta love that suspenseful music, though, right? 
which is going to be copyrighted. So support the channel. Yeah, I say it every stream or every video, but it's keep the bills paid. Holy Christ! It's a brutey. Somebody cut his throat. Stay with me, John. I want you to stay with me. Everything's going to be okay. As long as you, as long as you need it. He wants Burroughs dead, but Mannix told me to keep him alive. He set me up from the start, then he sent Turk in to kill me. The question is, why? I've got some dirt on him, but in this business, we all have dirt on each other. I guess the only way to find out is to complete the mission, kill Burroughs, and then get out and confront Mannix. Rise and shine, dirtbag. You got a visitor from the FBI. What? All right, here we go. We're getting closer to the end. There's not actually too much longer left. I really do hope you guys have been enjoying the walkthrough so far. It's been really fun playing this. Are you play games, Paxton. Not me, boss. Now swim along, guppy. I'll be outside, Agent. Hi, Tom. Burroughs. Aldo, what the hell are you doing here? It's my boys, Michael and Link. The company's coming after them to try and flush me out of hiding. You knew what you were risking when you left the company, Aldo. I thought I was risking my life, not theirs. You're the only one who can save them, Tom. I'm supposed to kill Link, not save him. Anything else and I sign my death warrant. Your death warrant's already signed. What? You're not leaving here alive. The company's sending Mannix here to kill Lincoln. After that, you're expendable. And you know what that means. That's why I'm asking for your help. Michael and Link are breaking out. You help them, and they'll help you. But then what? If the company wants me dead, I won't be any safer on the outside. It won't be you who's out there. I'll erase all your company files. It'll be like you never existed. You'll be a free man. On the run, but free. Okay, I'll do it. I'm gonna need the prison blueprints, and now's my best chance to get them. Help me up through the ceiling and cover for me while I'm gone. All right, here we go. It's time. Of course, this game came out in 2010, which is past the first season. Obviously, the first season came out in 2005. So you get a little bit more insight into the overall arch or overall plots of the season or excuse me, of the entire game or entire series as opposed to just the first season. All right, so your best bet is to wait here just a little bit longer. Then we're going to make our way over there just because he, he does have a pretty quick turnaround time. Just in time. Wow.
You suck, Orwell. Oh, can you do any better? Oh, it sounds like you're strangling a cat. I took lessons for 10 years. It'll come back to me. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> yeah, riding a bike over a cat. Then what do you know about music anyway? Enough to know when it sucks. Okay, let me ask you this. What's the difference between A major and A minor? Well, that's easy. A major is a guy you gotta salute, and A minor is an underage chick. You screw with one, he gets you in trouble. You screw with the other, you get her in trouble. on in the archive room. No way. Well, they're on now. Wait, I'm, I'm coming up. I gotta go to the can. Okay, uh, be quick about it. I want to check this place out. So what he's going to do is he's going to move over here. He's going to turn this way real quick. You have all the time in the world. Just be very, like, really slow when you do it. He will not turn around as long as you are slow. Went out, went out by themselves. And I'm the king of China. Just turn them back on, will you? I'm not done in here.
Thank God. Hurry. Time's up, Agent. Hello? Almost done, Captain. One more minute. All right. Nice and stealth like. You got him? Yep. And we got a deal, right? I help your boys, you destroy my company records. Count on it. Rules are rules. Visit's over. Back to yourself, Paxton. The escape starts in Schofield's cell and runs through the sewers. I gotta get into his cell to see how he's gonna get out. Plus, I gotta get a guard's uniform and stash it in the sewers. I don't know what those guys are planning, but it can't hurt to be wearing a guard's uniform during a manhunt. We gotta solve the problem. Schofield's in the loony bin. The last thing that we can do now is panic, man. Oh, it's panic time, all right. Gary's auctioning off his cell. Look, if we lose that cell, we lose our way out. It's gonna be expensive. How can we raise the money, hmm? I'll get the uniform later. Schofield's in the asylum, and I need to be the guy who gets his cell. Next stop, Officer Geary. All right, let's continue. We need to head over here and buy Schofield's cell. Boss, I hear you got some prime real estate to move. Looking to relocate, are you? How much? 500. What? How am I supposed to get that kind of dough? Hey, not my problem. But you're good with your mitts. Why not use them for something other than scratching your ass? You better move fast, though. I got other bids coming in. All right, so we need to head over here. Now, one thing I want to take note of, we need to get our uh, skills up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm going to hit the heavy bag for a little bit, but we're not going to show this because it would just take way too long. So we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of like skip forward until I get the heavy bag and then we'll continue. All right. So we've skipped a little bit ahead. Um, we, this is our fight that we're doing for 500 and we have to fight Bellic. So very interesting. Let's see how bad I do. Nice. Congrats. 500 bones. <laughs> Good work. New house rules, scumbags. The rent's gone up. Hand over the dough. <coughs> what the hell, boss? Beat it! All of you, now! If I was you, I'd sneak into the break room and steal that money right back from his locker. You heard the man. New house rules. You're the king, king. All right, so we need to sneak into the P.I. garden. So again, you know, we were getting, we've got our, our brawling all the way up. And we went back over there and we had to do that specifically just to be able to get the 500 and we had to fight Bellic. I messed up by pausing too much and that's why kind of there was a little cut there.
You say you're innocent? Absolutely. Hey, the safe took longer than I thought. The bitch was supposed to be out of town, and I didn't know the gun was loaded. How is that supposed to be my fault? Yeah, good point, my man. That was real close. Almost messed that up. All right, now we're good. We can run. Say, Davis. Hey, you know how the inmates are all the time talking on the phone to their girlfriends? Yeah, so? Yeah, so, uh, so how come they all say they're in Iraq instead of Fox River? You come home to a girl, which is gonna get you laid? Being a war hero or an ex-con? Nothing to see here, Bellic. All right, we're good. So far, so good. Here you go, 500 bucks. Now give me the damn cell. Jeez, Paxton, what you do? Fight all the A-wing? Cell's yours, pal. Schofield's cell is all mine now. So next up is stealing a guard's uniform from the laundry. And where do you think you're going? Laundry detail. Not without a badge! Beat it!
You still have to not go too fast when you're going up or else you can make a noise to have him turn around. You can't go back the other way, so you have to continue this way. Stupid made in Taiwan piece of junk. I need a photo ID, and the only one I got is in the boiler room drain. Moving right along, guys. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. Just a few missions left. Remember, just continue to go slow. You got one guard down here. He will not move until you complete a specific objective. Then he'll move. So you got to just go through the motions here. That does it. I'm writing this one up formal. We gotta get us a new electrician. I'm still very impressed with just how fun and simplistic this game is. I mean, it's a really, really simplistic game. Nonetheless, it's still really fun. Just haven't been a lots of a lot of moments needed for uh, commentary.
Hey, you! Over there! Check the upper left valve, will ya? Upper left... Uh, yeah, what about it? What about it? You read the numbers, you moron! And something what? Uh, Are you crazy? Get caught here without PI gear, and you'll get three weeks in the shoe. I'll distract the guards. You make a run for it. Thanks, Pops. Boss! Boss! My left arm hurts like hell! I, I think it's a heart attack! Hold on, Charles! Call Dr. Tancredi! Made it, ladies and gents. All right. In. I don't think it sucks as you know you gotta kind of conform to the the slow movement that the game wants you to do at this time it's about time inmate hand it over
Got to be quick here. Your time is over! Line it up! Look who's here, my best customer. You all comfy now, huh? Tucked away in Schofield's cell? Schofield found a way out behind the cell toilet, but before I leave Fox River, I want to get rid of any evidence I was ever here. That means destroying my prison records. What's the matter, Paxton? Can't sleep? Must be something I ate. Next time, try ordering from a different menu.
So this section can be actually quite tough. Now, the funny thing is, during the entire series, you know, guards were never kind of in those areas. Hold on a second, will you? <gasps> Sorry, thought I heard something. So the controls are a little weird here because if you press forward accidentally then you'll land like right or it'll, it'll automatically do the climbing for you that's the thing. You gotta pretty much do it on these spots where there's no, you see what I mean?
damn this century? Keep your shirt on. I'm coming. This part has actually been really, really tough with the stealth. destroyed my prison records and Aldo is erasing my company files. I'm the man who doesn't exist. The ghost in the system. When Mannix comes to get Burroughs, I'll be ready for him. I have a message for you. It says, you're all clear on the outside, and it's signed, a friend. Thanks, Charles. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> my company records have been erased. Aldo kept his promise. Oh my god! I... Bruce is back! He's alive! Oh, there's gonna be blood! Lots of blood! You're a dead man, Mannix. First you, then your ass-kisser, Paxton. Stuff it, Tulio. One step closer and I'll kill you right here. Cut the chatter, ladies. Move it up, Brutzi. This one's with me. Mannix is heading to the shoe to kill Burroughs. I've got to stop him. All right, so this is going to be the final video. We're going to encompass two chapters in this one. Unless you're watching the full walkthrough where it's all just one video, that's up to you. I try to give you guys options. So we just need to wait here until he turns around.
We can talk in here. Where's Lucy? What are you doing with my daughter? Calm down. I need you to take me to Lincoln Burrows. But where's Lucy? How do I know she's safe? Who are you people? Just take me to Burrows and everything will be okay. I don't want anything to happen. Shut it! Your child is in a safe place. The best way to help her is to do as you're told. Somebody's coming. Let's go. Bastard. Just gonna wait for him to pass. I hope you guys have been enjoying the walkthrough, everybody. It's been my pleasure to bring it to you all. Alright, so what we're going to do is wait here until he makes another round. Because there's just not enough time for you to be able to do this because he turns around. And then he comes like right in your face. Nice and slow. I'm not asking for the cure for cancer, Brad. This fighting has got to stop. Uh, I'll find out who's behind this, sir. <clears throat> I promise. I don't want promises. I want answers. Yes, sir. What are you looking at, morons? Clean this mess up! Right away, sir. You need me? I'll be in the break room. How long you think before Pope figures out Bellic is behind all this? The smart money says two weeks, if not sooner. So here you're going to want to kind of be really patient. You're going to do like maybe just one or two at a time because they don't give you a lot of time to do this.
Game's about to start. You coming? Yeah, be right there. I just have to let Burroughs know he's being moved. Okay, I'll wait for you. Burroughs! Yeah? Escort's coming to take you to the infirmary. Hey, Smith, the game's on. You coming or not? <laughs> I'm coming! I've waited all season for this rematch. This is Warden Pope. Captain Bellick has gone AWOL. Is he there in the shoe? No, sir. Haven't seen him all day. Wait, I'll ask Smith. Hey, Smith, you seen Brad around? Uh, nope. No, sir. He's not here. Okay, thanks. If you see him, please tell him to report to my office immediately. Just gotta be a little patient. your prayers, Burroughs. Forget it, medics. I was gonna do Burroughs first, but I'm flexible! Let's see what you got. All right, Burroughs. Stand clear of the door. We're taking you to the infirmary. This isn't over, Paxton. Count on it. Alright, so this is the final chapter. Here we go. Sorry, no room on the bus, pal. I did turn the music off for this because 
There's a lot of copyrighted music in this one, and the last few videos have all been copyrighted, so... Mavix! Give it up, Paxton. You can't win. I have all the cards. You don't give up, do you, Paxton? Why'd you set me up? You knew too much. Knew about my days with the mob. You became a liability. You gotta love the intense moment with no music. <laughs> Where did they get the walkie-talkie and everything? That's what I want to know. Burrows is getting away! I don't have time for that! It was never about Lincoln or even national security, was it, Maddox? The whole frame up. It was just a trick, a trick to get Aldo out of hiding so you could protect the company. Aldo Burrows is a traitor. He must be stopped. Good luck with that. How's it working for you so far? You're gonna die now, Pox. How's that working for you? Don't look now. The Burrows is getting away. I'm so bad at this. Oh, <laughs> You just never know. You just don't have enough time to react, man. Especially with those hits right there. You just really don't feel like... You don't know when that one's coming. Up 
Soldiers are under attack! Ah, they're too close. I don't have a clear shot at the prisoner! Still think you have all the cards? Miss! Does that include the dead man's hand? And there you have it, ladies and gents. Prisoner is down. I repeat, the prisoner is down. Game complete. We got seven men on the outside. Repeat, seven inmates gone rapid. Get the dogs. Walk the to the main gate now. My name is Tom Paxton. I'm on an undercover mission for the company at Fox River State Penitentiary. If you're hearing this, that means I'm dead. And there you go, ladies and gents. We have done it. Prison break, the conspiracy is complete. I know this was a walkthrough that not a lot of you people probably thought I'd do, but we try to do games that um, that kind of fall under our wheelhouse with some stealth stuff. So, you know, this game had a lot of stealth in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It was my pleasure to play it. I've been actually watching the Prison Break series again. Um, started with season one all over again, and now me and my wife are both watching it, and we're really, really enjoying it. It's really, really good TV. So um, I hope this you know, walk through, help maybe motivate some of you to actually check out uh, Prison Break, the TV show. If you've never seen it, I definitely recommend really, really good show. Very smart uh, and um, good action. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Thank you again so much for checking out the channel and just uh, being here with me uh, for this ride. So love you all. Support the channel any way you can. Buy me a coffee. All those links are in the description. Become a member, Patreon, all that great stuff. Plenty more walkthroughs to come. And uh, I hope you guys are excited for the year. So let's keep going. Peace out. Bitches.